Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I will talk a little about this unit here. It's a step up voltage converter that I used together with my Istabris i1500. And uh, this is a really good little unit if you don't have any MPPT tracker in your charge controller. So uh, what I have done is that I have connected this one directly after my rectifier and then connect it to my battery. And my system is running on 48 volts, so uh, what I can do here is that uh, when I have hooked up everything, I can adjust this input voltage, so I actually can start my charging in low wind condition. Because uh, when the wind is not blowing so hard, I don't reach my 48 volts and I don't have any charge to my battery. But this one can pick up that little voltage and swing it up to my 48 and start charging my battery. So that's pretty nice. But it does one more thing. And that is if it overloads, let's say that the, it's coming a very hard gust or something like that. This unit is smart because it knows how much amps it will take. So it starts automatically to raise the input voltage. So instead of the 24 volts that you had preset from the beginning, it will start to raise that up to lower your amperage. And if the amps continue to rise, it will pretty fast raise the input voltage up to the same voltage as your battery. And then the current will just go through this one. So it actually adjusts itself very fast and very safe. I have seen over a thousand watts straight through this one. It's rated to 1500, but I, I don't think that it will handle that for so long time. But anyway, it works very good. And I was actually afraid that I need to be home when I am using this and disconnect this if I go away, if the wind picks up and uh, starts to overload this. But it doesn't, because this one adjusts the voltage by itself. But of course, if I know that there is a storm coming, I just disconnect this one and uh, connect my rectifier directly to the battery, because uh, obviously you have some power loss in here. It's not much. I've seen videos about it. It's up to 96% or something. Uh, efficiency so it's very good but uh, anyway if there is a lot of wind then i personally prefer to um, bypass this one okay let's take a look at the screen up here you can see that sometimes we have power but most of the time we do not have any power at all and that is because i do not have this connected to my system yet so let's install this and uh, see if we have any change in the power output. Okay, it's in place again. And now we just have to wait for the wind turbine to spin up. And there we have it. Now you can see the actual voltage from our turbine directly after the rectifier. And I have preset it on 24 volts. And uh, as you can see, you start to uh, harvest some power at that voltage. The voltage converter are now back up and running again and you have the actual numbers here up on the left and if you take a look at the right here you will also have the numbers from another day when the winds were very gusty. So take a look at the volts and the amps. This is some kind of overload protection of course but it works very very good for us with a wind turbine without a MPPT tracker. Alright guys, this will be everything for today and I hope that you have understand everything that I have tried to explain for you. So uh, please give me a like and hit subscribe, then you will see me the next time. Thank you, bye!